When riding on the track, one of the areas of the bike that takes the biggest pounding is the braking system. So it's no wonder that when people get a little more into their track riding that they start looking around to see how they can improve it so that it can be more effective on the track. With that in mind, in this video we're going to be looking at 5 steps you can take to improve the deceleration potential of your motorcycle's braking system so that you can be more confident in its ability to do just that. Up first, refresh your fluid. This is the cheapest and most simple way to improve the performance of your brakes. If your fluid hasn't been changed for a long time, I would recommend you make that the first thing you do to improve the performance. Glycol-based brake fluid, that's DOT4 fluid to you and me, is hygroscopic, which means that the fluid itself will absorb moisture, even in a sealed system. And over time, you'll get a buildup of water in that system, which will decrease the performance capabilities of that fluid. Changing your fluid regularly is very important for keeping it fresh and in turn helping keep the performance of the braking system up as high as it can be. Up next, upgrade the brake pads. This is another fairly cheap way to upgrade motorcycle brakes. By upgrading to track biased pads, you'll not only gain more outright performance, but you'll also be less likely to experience things like brake fade. The most popular form of track brake pad is a race sintered pad. These contain metal particles in them that not only improve overall friction characteristics, but they also handle heat better, which is why you're less likely to experience your brakes fading. Having said that, the standards of stock brake pads are as high as they've ever been, and some manufacturers actually employ sintering already, so it's worth looking into what your bike manufacturer offers if you want to stick with stock pads. Also on this point, it kind of goes without saying that a worn out brake pad isn't going to be as effective as a brand new one. So if your pads are looking a little low, a fresh one could make all the difference. Okay, tip number three, upgrading to braided brake lines. This is a popular choice for a lot of riders when upgrading the braking system. Though I would guess a fair few people don't fully understand the benefits of braided lines themselves. They're not just for the bling factor. They do actually serve a purpose. Many motorcycles come with rubber hoses out of the factory and over time rubber starts to degrade and stretch through use, even more so on the track where the stresses are higher. This is going to decrease the braking performance and have you once again knocking on the door of brake fade. Braided hoses are nowhere near as prone to this problem, meaning they'll not only give you a consistent feel with the lever, but they'll also last longer too. Next, an upgraded master cylinder. Depending on what's fitted to your motorcycle as standard, it's an aftermarket master cylinder that will likely bring the biggest gains when looking to upgrade your motorcycle's braking system. Their often larger piston diameter means that more fluid can be forced out of the master cylinder, which in turn means a greater pressure produced. The downside of a bigger piston is that it would actually take more effort to produce this pressure. But due to the different lever positions and leverage offsets that the manufacturers employ, you can in fact achieve this higher level of produced pressure with the same, if not less, effort than using stock parts. Now, these are a more expensive upgrade, but speak to anyone who's upgraded to an aftermarket master cylinder from a well-known manufacturer and they'll likely say it was well worth the investment. All of that said, the master cylinders found on modern sports bikes as standard are very, very good in terms of outright stopping power. The key benefits you're likely to find with an upgraded version are more down to the feel of the lever as well as the greater adjustability for that feel along with the position of the lever itself. And finally five, replacing serviceable parts. Now, while not really an upgrade to the braking system itself, like tip number one, keeping up with the maintenance schedule and replacing system internals or cleaning non-replacement parts is an important part of making sure your system is up to scratch. For instance, rubber perishes over time, so the seals inside the master cylinder and inside the calipers will degrade and lose effectiveness. Not only this, but dirt and particles can build up around the piston and cause them to stick. In the end, the pads will drag on the disc because the pistons can't fully retract, and this will only further produce unwanted friction and heat. Now, I've put this last because really it's a given, but if your brake system isn't kept in good working order, then it will affect the performance of that system. If you feel your brakes aren't performing as well as you'd like them to be, or you just fancy an upgrade, what we've just covered would be an excellent five steps to take in order to improve the overall effectiveness of your system. Have you made any upgrades to your brakes in the past? And if so, where did you feel the biggest benefits came from? Tell us about it in the comments down below. And as always, if you liked the video, then please hit the button and subscribe to the channel for more performance riding advice and guides moving forward. 
See you in the next one.